Hi, my name is Molly Fritzstein. I um, have been a professional runner since I graduated from college in 2010. Um, the past year and a half, I've faced a lot of injuries, everything from peroneal tendon surgery to uh, the latest was a complete fracture of my first metatarsal shaft, um, 12 weeks of no running, eight weeks of absolutely nothing. Um, so the past four weeks, I've been elliptic going like a fiend, and now today is my first run. Now, this is not my first attempted a comeback. In fact, I've had about a million of them, but haven't been able to get past about three weeks of running in the past year and a half without another serious injury coming along, usually taking me out for another two months. So we're hoping to break that cycle this time around. And for better or worse, uh, I thought I'd document it and see how everything goes. Um, you can follow along as well. So I'm going to start with some dynamic exercises just to loosen up my very tight body. And then we're going to do, hopefully do, 10 by a minute run, a minute walk. So. Um, Hopefully everything goes well, but you'll be here to see it regardless. And so I'm going to start with just pulling my legs up, coming down to a lunge, going into a runner's lunge, getting a deep stretch, never holding anything too long, straighten it, rock it out a little bit, get my hamstring involved, and move both sides. Regular lunge. really hard. Like the orthotics feel really hard. The road feels really hard. I feel it in my foot. I'm going to try like one or two more and if it gets worse, sometimes just tightness that like, you know, you can't help and it's going to go away with some time. And sometimes it's just like you shouldn't be running. And with bone it's hard to tell, especially after three months. Things are going to be tight. You have a bone callus around there. So. We'll see. That time I ran a little slower, so I didn't really feel it as much. I don't feel it at all during the walk, which is a good sign because it shows that it's not like doing any lasting harm. Most people think that, oh, you break a bone, you have a stress fracture, it's healed, it's not going to hurt. And then just a lot of times you do have some phantom pains that I've experienced before. This is just such a more serious injury than I've ever had that I don't know if things are going to be, you know, quantified differently or if I should back off. So we're going to do a lap here, see how it goes. Be aware of the bone you broke in half. And I feel, I've heard a lot of people say, like, you're going to feel phantom pains. You're going to feel pain for a couple weeks. Usually the standard is that if you're still feeling something after two weeks of very conservative running, then you shouldn't be running. Um, and by conservative running, I mean, like, 30 second to a minute jogs and then walks. bone injury. I've had a uh, bone bruise my freshman year of college. I had a stress fracture in my femur, the femoral shaft. My senior year of college, I had a, tib a stress fracture in the back of my tibia. My first year of being a professional runner at the Hansons. I had a broken fibula at my ankle bone, the lateral malleolus, um, in 2012. And then I fractured my kneecap twice from falling. Once that kept me out of the Olympic Trials Marathon in 2012 and once my junior year of college when I was going to run my first um, New York Mini 10K, which was probably the most devastating injury I've had in my career. Um, so yeah, bone injuries happen. It's just a matter of how to deal with them properly when they do. So hopefully everything will turn out for the better.